Wilbur is one of the 486 Hunsler Austerity 060 tanks built between 1943 and 1964. Wilbert was built in 1953, making him one of the youngest steam engines in the railway series, and possibly the youngest standard gauge steam engine character. There are some younger steam engines in the smaller gauges, such as Jock, Ivo, Hugh and Patrick, but the only possible standard gauge steam engine characters who could be younger than Wilbert are 16 and the elusive austerity engine. I hope to make a video about them at some point. By the time Wilbert had been built, the railway series was already on its eighth volume, Gordon the Big Engine, and the oldest known engine on Sodor, Scarlowe, was 89 years old. Wilbert was built by Hunsler in Leeds as number 3806. The wartime design class of Shunter was the monks most successful, with examples continuing to work on industrial lines into the 1980s. Wilbert worked in collieries from the date he was built to the date he was withdrawn. He was initially stationed at Rawnsley in 1953, but moved to Chasetown later that year. In 1961 or 1962, he moved to West Cannock No. 5 Colliery in Heddensford in Staffordshire. He wore a lime green livery and was number 4. By 1971, steam working had all but finished with work being taken over by William Bagnall diesel shunters. After this, he was bought for the Dean Forest Railway in November 1972 and arrived in February 1973 by road. Initially, Wilbur was placed on a short length of track at Park End Station and some light restoration work was started. In 1978, he was moved to Norchard where restoration was started in full. In early 1981, Wilbert was restored and repainted to the familiar dark blue livery. Wilbert was initially named GB Keeling after the first chief mechanical engineer of the 7 and Y Railway, a part of which is now restored on the Dean Forest Railway. He was named by Reverend W. Audrey, the president of the Dean Forest Railway. On November 8, 1983, Wilbert hauled a Royal Train and His Royal Highness Richard, Duke of Gloucester, drove him as well. In 1987, Wilbert was renamed from G.B. Keeling to Wilbert, after the Reverend Wilbert Audrey, who was the president of the Dean Forest Railway. In 1991, the Dean Forest Railway were visited by another visitor to Sodor, City of Truro, to commemorate the opening of the new Lakeside station. City of Truro would revisit the line in 2010. In 1993, Wilbert visited Sodor. There is no clue in the text when the story takes place. In the UK, and it can be wet and cold at any time of the year. The greenery and flowers suggest it's probably some point during spring. The story Wilbert tells about 16 he may have heard from another engine at the collieries, on the Dean Forest Railway or from a railwayman, but Wilbert did not work with him at the steelworks. As of yet it's unclear which preserved austerity tank engine is the real 16, but I will try to find out in a later video. While on Sodor, Wilbert worked at the Tory Rec lead mines, Ellsbridge Dairy and Paul's Percy's trains until he moves to Duck's branch line. At the end of his trial, he returns to the Dean Forest Railway with a fat controller saying he knows where he can get another austerity tank engine. This would be one of the roughly 70 austerities that survived. Currently, all but three are based in the UK, with one in Belgium and two in the Netherlands. It will be tricky to find out which austerity this refers to, but like 16, I will try and find out the correct prototype in a later video. After returning to the Dean Forest Railway, Wilbert had another excursion and visited the Swanage, Swanage Railway in 1995. Wilbert was overhauled in 2012 and ran for six months on the Weirdale Railway from July 2012 to January 2013. It seems to be during this overhaul his nameplate had white paint added to the words Reverend W. Audrey and the red lining from his bunker removed. For a time after this overhaul, Wilbert also seems to have gained coal rails on his bunker. Wilbert was withdrawn in 2016 for overhaul and as of December 2021 is still awaiting repairs, though funds are being generated at this time for Wilbert's restoration. I hope this short video on Wilbur has been interesting and I'm looking forward to investigating the other two austerity tanks in the railway series as much as I can. Wilbur is clearly a special character with links to Wilbur Audrey so I'm glad to have put this video together. Thanks for watching and let's hope Wilbur is back in steam soon.